You don't need to kill Vendrick. Can I get exclamation point skip in the chat, please? But later you'll have better gear. Can I get exclamation point Donatello in chat, please? There, there is no better gear. There is only this. I did hear that the DLC for Souls, uh, Dark Souls 2 is pretty good. From always does a great job on the DLC. So I think we will leave this for a little bit later. Um, can we get a uh, first grade instruction for where the DLC entrance is? See ya. Fell down the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> well. You do not need the ladder. There's something to be said for game design being linear. Like, I remember, uh... When I was a kid, you know, you beat level one of Contra, it goes like, and then it goes, and it's collecting your score. And then um, it puts you on level two. You don't have to get uh, a master's degree in cartography to figure out where the hell you're supposed to go. I'm not, now it's like a matter of principle. I'm making it without the ladder, man. What'd you expect? It's okay, that one was my fault. Sholva, Sanctum City. Yo, this looks like a Mysterium card. It's a dragon, dude. Alright. Fight you later. I hate this sound. You... S stop that! Stop making that noise. I mean, realistically, what percentage of people die in a restaurant? Not every time they go, but I mean, like, when they go. It's got to be like, like 0.5% of people. Let's hold on, I'm, I'm crunching the numbers. I'm like, is that way too high? It's certainly not low. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's actually not a hard jump at all. It's a very simple, very simple jump. Please. You know there's going to be a bonfire around here. Just just tell me where it is and we'll work from there. Hit all levers here. You know what? Maybe we'll just go bonfireless. Look, this is not a fair criticism. It's just not. I'll admit. I wish it were. Oh, we're we're done anyway. We're done anyway. Oh no. But, like, could you have just made the bonfire on the path? Why is it jank? Not everyone may agree with my assumption of the jankness, but uh, doing Legend of Zelda puzzles while being riddled with arrows from across the map is not uh, what I played Dark Souls for. Kill the enemies then? Boo! 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 Hello all. How is Dark Souls 2 going? It's up and down. Feeling a little bit down. 
for today's stream, which was largely um, getting to a boss that people were like, this is the worst boss in Souls history. And then we're like, okay, we'll save it for later. And then uh, getting to another boss who uh, people went, ah, just skip this guy for now and come back later. And then going into the DLC, which I've been told was the, the best DLC in, uh, in Dark Souls 2 and immediately being met with this uh, water temple puzzle. I haven't been on TikTok today, Daniel. Did you see the official Northern Lion post a TikTok today? I didn't have time because yesterday uh, we would go to cook dinner and then one of the freaking uh, elements on the stove doesn't work. So I got to pull out the homeowner's manual and be like, is this thing still under warranty? Answer, yes. Okay, find out the freaking subcontractor. Go look up the subcontractor's phone number. Give him a phone call and be like, hey, one of our burners doesn't work. That way they can't, uh, they still haven't called me back, but I don't know, they're probably really busy uh, doing nothing at all. And uh, then I went, I took our garbage pail out to the, to the patio to rinse it out because it got a little gross. And then the hose, I turned it, no water came out. And I went, what the heck? We got no freaking water in the building now, but our taps are working. What the heck's up with that? And then it turns out I just was using the, the nozzle on the hose incorrectly, which I apologize for. Um, we we had a lot of a lot of stuff came up last night, is what I'm trying to say. Need a little bit of wine o'clock after all that all that adulting. Steal this, buy life gems. It's a good idea. We may go back to. Bruh, 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 bruh. This is a mimic, dude. Oh my god. It's a really bold strategy for Dark Souls 2 to have all the chests be metal except mimics, which are uh, still made out of wood. Really? Where are you coming from? Oh, you just lived. I let you live. Oh my god. Fucking God. I hate you so much. This is... I, and you're gonna not believe me that I'm saying something positive. This is a really cool little bit of architecture here. I feel like we're in the back part of the bowling alley. Uh, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Thomas. Let's do this. I love that he gestures. He jesters. In order to do this part, you need to go. You need to go back up one and get a key item. What if Luna pops out and she's like that large baby on TikTok? I have uh, I have heard through the grapevine that. Uh, that incredibly large cursed baby on TikTok is actually like three years old and they just dress it like a baby to highlight the illusion of its size. I don't mean this to be rude. It's very rude, to be fair, what I'm about to say. The baby, though, was large enough to be scary just based on its size. It was such an unbelievably, prodigiously large child that its size alone made it kind of terrifying. It didn't need to have, like, you know, flame breath or a weapon. Just its... the scope of its size was... that was enough. That was enough to put the fear of God into me. If anything, I think giving that baby a gun would make me feel safer. Because I'm like, man, he looks like he's he's trouble. But then he's got a gun, so he can't be that strong. The fact that the baby feels the need to remain unarmed is very frightening to me. This is the wrong side. Once we finish Dark Souls 2, 
we're playing a game that is we might play final fantasy 13. i want the most linear experience possible there was a bonnie there i'm gonna i'm gonna keep you honest when you say there was a bonnie there do you mean there was a bonfire invisible eye shot or do you mean oh if you go if you shoot a switch with your bow and arrow, it opens up a room that appears to be empty. Then if you punch a tree in the face, it makes a little bring sound. And then you smash the A button at every possible vertex of each polygon. And there's an illusory wall that opens up a bonfire. Try spamming use. That is cube. <laughs> So it's one level below. It's one level below. Okay, 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 okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. It's not. Okay, I can't live with that. It's on this side. Every single iota, every photon will be examined for illusions. It's this spot downstairs. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> saved saved it was down a floor see this is why i remember like three weeks ago i posited wouldn't it be amazing if they made like a dark souls boss rush game this is this is the nightmare i had in my head when i thought of that idea it's a cool arena my my appraisal of this is a cool arena what the heck is that? Of course. Of course, there's a couple of skeletons. A couple of bonies made it through the Christmas portal, Scrooge. Bash him with your cane. Honestly, my guess right now is that Jester Thomas probably banished this lady. We shouldn't have stayed. Oh, oh, what the? It's a large one. Jester Thomas is stronger than this lady, and thus banished her to this realm. I will say, there's a large discrepancy. Like, three skeletons is like a 0 out of 10 difficulty. Velstad, on the other hand... Let's put him at like the 6 out of 10 difficulty range. Oh my god, just frig off. Whatever, here comes, here comes the no-hitter. Alright. <laughs> Just stay stay frosty. We're out! No, no, and I don't have I don't have any other healing items on my quick bar. It's just very good carvings! Come on! Alright, you know what? Like it's been a fun meme. But I think it's actually time to accept that uh really Anything that artificially extends the length of Dark Souls 2 is no longer necessary. <laughs> yeah, summons are for cowards. Can we get exclamation point summon? There's no optional boss when you play Dark Souls on Twitch. So we will go back for the Ancient Dragon. Skeletons, dude. I'm the giant bony that makes all the rules. And then also, you're not allowed to ever summon. Uh, or you'll never hear the end of it. While Dan beat Manus without summoning. And it only took him 45 streams. Until he got stuck in uh, the architecture. 
I, I'm not mad, but I'm a little mad that the auto-targeting was like, yeah, the far away skeleton. Really? I gave her an uppercut right to the freaking pancreas, dude! <laughs> it's way easier with normal weapons. Oh, no kidding. Here I was under the impression I was using the most overpowered weapons in the game. You're telling me there's a better option? Than, than two incredibly short-range things attached to my hands? If I'm being honest, boys, I'm ready for Dark Souls 2 to end. Yeah, it, me too. I will say, once once we're done, if you want to know my opinion on Dark Souls 2, when we played Randomizer, I was so jazzed, we played uh, Randomizer again immediately. When we played Randomizer again, I said, dude, I really want to play Dark Souls 3. When we finished Dark Souls 3, I said, man, that was awesome. Let's play some Dark Souls 2. At the end of Dark Souls 2, I will be taking a break uh, from Souls games for a while. It is it has sapped most of my will to immediately play Sekiro or Bloodborne again. I'm not anti Dark Souls 2. I still think it's pretty good, but every week is kind of an onslaught of There's like at least two things in every week of Dark Souls 2 where I go, ah It's kinda of bullshit. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm using the Seistus, but the Seistus was like also the Seistus was also a way to get people interested in the playthrough beyond just like, hey, it's just another Souls. Instead of like, mm, big hammer, destroy all enemies, it's kind of like, hey, let, let's put a little sauce on this one. But uh, I think it's fair to say I regret it modestly. Honestly, pop this life gem, dude and get in there. She's going down. The heck? Not today. I'm not, whatever that is, I'm not letting it go. <laughs> it's another boss immediately? How about that? I like that. I'm, I'm pro that. I think season one of Dark is a legit nine or 10 out of 10. I think season two is an 8.5 to a nine. And I think season three is an eight to an 8.5. I think I think they wrapped it up nicely. I think they did right by their audience. And uh, to some extent, I agree that uh, no matter what, the, the early seasons of a reality show, not a reality show, but a, a, a show with some mystery involved, have a huge advantage. Um, so I think like building a mystery is relatively easy. And wrapping a mystery up is always gonna come with some form of sacrifice where people are like, this isn't how I saw it wrapping up. So I think Dark was not as good in season three as it was in season one, but it was almost necessary just so that they could get to some form of closure. So I, I think they did a great job, honestly. It's, it's a show I would suggest is highly worth watching. No thanks, I don't like orcs. You know, you reap what you sow. Nope. And nope. There we go, we got the- He still hit us? It didn't make a noise, dude! It didn't make a noise! There's a rule, if it doesn't make a noise, you refund the damage. And also, you can't just eat all the fully loaded nachos. Sorry, right. can I can I tell you like I'm not frustrated at all by these deaths? Because honestly, just fighting a boss is kind of nice. Get out of the toxic! No, 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 no. That hurts. That hurts. He's swooping. He's swooping, but we're in there. Just do an attack that's punishable. Like, I get it. 
I'm using Seistus. That was my choice. However, could you just... I'll take the hit just to do some damage. Go ahead. I mean, like, the whole arena's green anyway. Yeah, sure. Fly. Shoot your fireball. Then you do a sweep or a, a flame. Okay, it's a sweep, which is definitely better for us. We get to heal up, and we're back. Okay, now, like, shoot some fire out of your face. Okay, now go up, shoot a fireball. Okay, cool. That's a lot of fun. Three Estus is not a lot. But if we can get him in the cycle, it's not that bad. They don't want you to win with the Seistus. I'm sorry, YouTube. This game sucks. At least the way I'm playing it, it sucks. <laughs> now, if you minimize your time spent in the air. If I... Oh, never mind. All right. Go ahead and shoot me with a fireball instead. And then, uh... There you go. There you go. Now, do a ground attack. My god. He's done it. Just slap him right across his face. Take some damage in the process because I got too greedy. Now choose the way that you will return to the ground, and let's let's do this 75 more times. I we I'm aware that people are annoyed that there's complaining about the game while also using the Seistus. Won't somebody think of the game's honor? You can't insult the game, don't you know? H bomber guy made a video essay. We will persevere, and if we have to insult product along the way, then so be it. Let's say that Dark Souls 2 is gonna be sad. Pog charcoal heating up in the pog burner. Pog burgers about to go on the grill. Face me. Face me. I almost just gave the camera the middle finger about 20 times. What was that, like a 40 minute boss fight? Get out of your garbage. Go back to Kingsfield 4. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Gross, he farted. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad that's over. That's that's one DLC down, right? Yes. Oh, baby. There's another boss in this DLC. Alright. You should try to wear the helm. It makes your health look like you are human. Um, here's a very simple question for you. Is uh, the helm... Something that makes your head look like a turtle? Because, I mean, I'll level with you. Every single boss that we beat using the turtle build makes it substantially less likely we will ever unturtle our build. Every time we knock out a boss who's annoying as hell as a turtle, the odds of us ever unturtling to beat another boss and thus losing all of the, the valor that I've earned. It's unlikely. Wear a crown. I gotta put the crown on, but if it doesn't look cool, you're all banned. So here's the thing. It looks cool, but it completely destroys our role. Hello, ghost. You know, that's okay. Brother, like, I just gotta push the button. Do you have to be... Oh, do I have to shoot that with a bow and arrow? I hate this shit. <laughs> you punch it, you punch it, that's right. Just let, just let me see what it is, dude. Like that- Oh, and you're gonna shoot me too?! You know those viral clips where like a streamer gets super pissed off at like a long time subscriber or chat member? And they just like... It's clear that they resent their position in life? That's how I feel about Dark Souls 2 right now. It's like Dark Souls 1 was n nobody at from software wanted to make another dark souls right away but dark souls one was so successful they're like okay you motherfuckers you like you like hard games all right how about this it's an enemy you can't even hit 
And guess what? When you open the chest, it shoots you. There's a crossbow that shoots in 14 directions. You still like this shit? And people were like, kind of. Bonfire 2 of the DLC. The Tower of Prayer? Is that correct? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna go off on a motherfucking rant. <laughs> the world in Dark Souls 1 is a beautiful menagerie of interconnected... You hit a switch, it opens a door, you pop out of the door. What? I'm on the south side of Undeadburg. What the hell is this? What is this, dude? No wonder you get freaking lost in Dark Souls 2. You got like a 4x40 grid of bonfires you can fast travel to with no sense of place. This is just optional, not progress. Can we get an exclamation point optional in chat, please? If you shoot me, I swear to God, dude. I swear to fucking God. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm gonna be negative, okay? You couldn't have just put five items in one chest here? Rock, shield, balder? Um, I'd be surprised. <laughs> I'm pretty bald. All right. The priestess chamber. Oh my god. I want whoever invented the turrets for Dark Souls 2 to publicly apologize. Just, just fucking stop. Just stop it. It's too, it's too much. It's just too much. This is hell. Why would you make this? I just don't understand why... Like, <laughs> I just don't understand what would compel you to make this area, dude. Just wait until you see the boss. I think I'm like, I'm all in on Dark Souls 2 now. I've, I've come back around and I'm like, I'm starting to admire it again. Just for the audacity of, uh, of some of these areas that are just... Like, just forgive me for what I'm about to say. It's going to sound overly rude. And it is overly rude. But it's like... It's almost like deliberately shitty. And I, I'm growing to almost respect it. Strangely. What? Like, look at this. Look, look at the scene that I'm seeing right here. You can't tell me somebody was like, this is okay. Which leaves the only reasonable conclusion that they knew it wasn't okay and made it anyway, which is actually kind of like awesome. It kind of owns. Okay. Okay. Just surveying the map. Oh, what the? It's Agile Havel. What the heck? It's, it's all of the cheesy P uh, PvP builds from Dark Souls 1. The run-up is, is truly horrible. Just wait, are you fucking kidding me, dude? The run-up on the other DLCs is no joke ten times worse. Does this look like a man who's concerned about that? Just beat the shit out of him. How do you have so much poise? You're wearing Robin Hood's hat. I don't believe it! I don't believe it! Every other Dark Souls playthrough is pretty much even keel. I've been at a, a relatively stable level the whole way through. Dark Souls 2, I started out being like, we're gonna experience like a forgotten gem that's underappreciated. And by the time we've gotten here, I am now like, I'm just letting it out. I'm not trying to feed into the narrative like, lol, Dark Souls 2, crap, ha ha ha, opposed to the right. I'm just experiencing suffering and pain, is really what's happening. And if anything, if you are a strong enough person to think that Dark Souls 2 is your favorite, then you're strong enough to have some jokes be at Dark Souls 2's expense. 
uh, without being offended. Otherwise, you're a liar. And you're only enjoying Dark Souls 2 because it gives you some contrarian street cred. That's my, that's my honest opinion. If you suffered through the game, and you're like, this is good, and then someone goes, I don't like it, and you go, wow, come on. Like, whoa, can somebody leave Dark Souls alone? Is Dark Souls 2 is not that bad. Can we just, can we just be nice? Get over it. Incredible. Amazing. Nice shot. Bullseye. Great. Amazing. He's, he's got poison. He's got poison. He's, he's, he's fading. He's fading. He's gone. Let's go. Okay. Now this is just a classic. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. What's this horrible sound? This sound is Miyazaki. When he came back from vacation and saw this game for the first time. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? You blew it up, god damn you! Do you have heavy iron key? No. It's in the forest of fallen giants. Fire salamander area deep down for key. Go to the last giant through door on left. Key at the start of Iron Keep. Go up the ladder. You need to go into the Salamander's Pit. Could you be more specific, please? What ladder? <laughs> what ladder do I have to go up to get? The ladder! So this this is my dream. I, I You're telling me this is how you progress in Dark Souls 2. You, you fall into this pit of fire with two snakes in it. Uh, <laughs> These are not snakes, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. There are six of them down here. Oh my lanta. Just grab the key and run. I don't know where the hell anything is in this game. It's all just a mess of like... Broken concrete textures and muddy like grays and greens. I don't know where the hell anything is. The chest you stood next to? I don't know. Every chest you open in this game is like dried burdock. <laughs> Cilantro. I don't want that shit. It's not even in the chest, it's down the hole I got murdered in? You could normally just do the DLC, but in Scholar they hid the keys. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I'm sorry, I just fall and then we'll do a little air dash to move backwards so we can plunge this guy. Incredible. We're free! We're free! Whatever, kill me. It's just a homeward bone in disguise. I hide my shame. Yeah, whatever, dude. Just, just get out of my way. I'm not having it today. I put on a helmet. That's how you know shit's serious. This DLC has blue smelter demon. Honestly, I'm ready. I'm just ready. Hopefully, hopefully you have to fight him right at the start. I think it'd be sick if you had to fight him right at the start. That'd be really cool. If, like, immediately upon entering, he just hit you with, like, an AoE that's unblockable. This is an incredible test of will. Reposition. Oh, I'm so nervous, dude. It's, I got a little speed wobble on the camera. I have also, one time, I was watching... 
uh, Dan, I think it was when he was about to stream like Citizen Con, the, the Star Citizen convention. And um, he was like, hold on, I got to handle something. And like, I think his bank account got hacked while he was on stream. <laughs> it's just like, how does that happen? <laughs> but like, it wasn't. They know. It's a sign. Keith Miyazaki has blessed this run. Oh, I remember this. Oh my god. Oh my god. You blend in with the wall texture. Well, that was a fun run. Just kill. You might as well. I'm already dead. Yep, fair enough. What did H Bomber guy say about this part? That's what I fucking thought. Why did they patch out Lion Strats? I think they honestly. Well, if we're gonna say it, we might as well friggin' say it. A lot of scholars' changes from what I can. what I hear from chat and my own memory, although I'll admit it's from a long time ago, um, of Dark Souls 2, is like. people. Had too much fun uh, with Dark Souls 2 by just running through a lot of enemies. And they went, well, I can't stand for that shit. And they uh, made that impossible out of malice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're free. I'm still- I, I really think that a good impression to work on this month would be Lin-Manuel Miranda rapping as Hamilton. Because I think it's- it's a very easy impression to get. Because it's like 70% Eminem. And then the rest, you know, people can just kind of fill in for themselves. The, their head will do the- We'll do the, the work for them. For you, I should say. We're rapping and crapping and writing the Declaration of Independence and depending on your dependence to... You know... <laughs> you, you can't, can't love that one. Examine. No scorching iron scepter in inventory. Oh, honey, did we forget something at home? Did we... Did we... Did you pack the scorching iron scepter? Punch the horse. Oh, <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? That's pretty sick. You? You really thought your puny earth tech could hurt me? Stay out of this. Don't make me use this, Tony. You stay out of this. Don't make me use this, Tony. Whip, 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 whip. You really thought you could hurt me with this? If it wasn't for me, this place would be Crater City! Now, if you mess with me, you're gonna get it. We'll see about that! The old man just doesn't get it, does he? Still deeply locked into my brain. Never to be removed. What are you? Oh, no boss. This is like fog wall 75 with no boss. I just gotta know, okay? Like, so you walk in, you're, you're making this game, right? So you, you're like, okay, and they walk in through here. What are they met by? The fog wall dissipates. Their head is full of curiosity and wonder. Room full of boxes. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> copy and paste. A couple of boxes into here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, I'm out of green. He tried to, he tried to shoot his hand, but it was not loaded. Okay, hello. This seems like a fun part of the game. This is the worst thing that they've ever made. This is a great one-two punch in chat. Don't bone, you idiot. Followed by immediately, okay, bone was smarter. He's in. 
<laughs> Iron hallway. <laughs> this area is hell. I'm suddenly over encumbered. Oh my, because I'm carrying around this arrow on my forehead, dude. Smelter demon. Blue smelty. Finally. Oh, the, the pogs would be out of this world if we beat it first try. This is like the number one boss where Chad goes, wait for blue smelter. He looks like a six-year-old's drawing. What's the next game on the list? I don't know, people keep telling me there's 45 hours left in Dark Souls 2. I haven't really thought about it, but really anything at all. So here's the way that it happened, right? For a while, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and parts of Tuesdays were solo. I had so much solo content, I didn't know what to do with. Hey, let's play through all the Souls games. Now, the majority of my, like the vast majority of my solo content is exclusively, well, Thursdays and Sundays. But Sundays is kind of always its own thing. Goodbye. Um, so I gotta fucking plow through Dark Souls 2. It's making me hate my freaking solo stuff because the punches never connect. And I can't be more direct about the neglect on the hitbox. Can't even see what you're doing, I just see blue. <laughs> Please yeet the Seistus? Absolutely not. I, I can't. Epic Name Bro said yesterday he likes Dark Souls 2 more than Dark Souls 3. Yeah, but Epic Name Bro also says dogs can't look up. I mean, like, there's there's differences of opinion, right? That is, It's a quote from Shaun of the Dead, the dogs can't look up thing. Um, it's a difference of opinion. However... I definitely, I, I would need to sit in a room with the people who think Dark Souls 2 is better than 3. If they've played them both recently. And be like, just talk to me. I'm not going to interrupt you. Just, you know, here's, here's half an hour, make your case. And then as soon as they started talking, I would go, oh really? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> sure. He got rid of the wood carvings, but not the throwing knives. Excuse me, the throwing knives allowed me to beat the three Indiana Jones boss. Yeah, just kill me or whatever. Oh, I'm gonna crush you in my hand. I guess. I'm gonna get you in my hand and just crush you. I was legit angered for half a second. You're absolutely right. I felt the heat rise in my head. Okay, where can we buy effigies? I know you're like, why aren't you rolling? Uh, one of these dudes has like an AoE fart cloud. And when he farts, uh, it saps your equipment load and makes you run through vaporous mud. That's really where you want to go with this room, huh? Huh, fucker? <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the camera and I'm like... Did you know that that song is sung by Frank Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's brother? Someone in chat knew, they just said it. So, whichever one of you motherfuckers said you could get some hits in while he's buffing, I'm gonna issue a, a decree that you cease your lies and misleading comments post haste can you do Aaron Burr complaining about Dark Souls 2? I can't but definitely I could come up with some song titles like I want to be in the room where it happened is tailor made for an angry gamer wondering how some things made it into Dark Souls 2 I refuse to summon. Can we get exclamation point summon in chat, please? Boss is optional. <clears throat> Can we get an exclamation point optional in the chat, please? Did DS2 souls you out of doing Sekiro next? 
Yes, but I will still do Sekiro, because I know that Sekiro is a great game. Um, but I will put in something that is not Souls in between. Because this has been... Like, I really think Dark Souls 2 might take as long as 3 plus the 2 randomizers did, which is too much. I do like the clip from Kingdom Hearts 2, where Mickey Mouse gets yeeted by an incredibly large rock. And then... That's Goofy, actually? Whatever, dude. Same shit. Goofy, Mickey, Donald. It's all the same. Oh, that's right! Mickey gets pissed after. He's like, we're gonna take those cocksuckers down. <laughs> I remember. Donald Duck kills a man in Kingdom Hearts 3. What are you t Does he kill, like, like, Tarzan or something? They'll pay for this! That's it. It would be sick. If Donald Duck killed Thanos at the end of Kingdom Hearts 4. Yes, Donald Duck casts one of the strongest spells in any Square franchise. How much do you know about the time travel in Kingdom Hearts? Literally none. So I'm going to spoil Kingdom Hearts 1 for you, okay? Um, here's what I know about Kingdom Hearts 1. You got this island where it's called like Sunshine Island or some shit. And for some reason, all the characters live there. Um, and they're just having like a good time. And also, some of the characters are also from Final Fantasy for whatever reason. Like Waka's there. Anyway. So then, like, you bat Waka's ball back at him a couple of times on the island, and you level up. And then, I forget what happens. You go into, like, town, and then when you get into town, there's all sorts of fucking, like, weird demons there. And then you start smashing them with the keyblade and stuff. So then it's, like, you and, uh... Your girlfriend, who's not actually your girlfriend, uh... Kyrie. You're Haley Joel Osment. And then you got, like, your friend is a bad boy. His name's Riku. He looks like a man's man with Meg Ryan's haircut. And, um, he's, like, super cool. He's, like, he's a real badass. He's a little edgy. And then he starts, at some point you interface with Mickey Mouse and Donald, but then he starts to fall under the influence of Ansem, who is, like, He's the bad guy. And you start to be like, yo, Riku is, like, cool. But also, like, he might be evil. They kind of string you along on that we don't know if he's evil or not really evil thing. And as a kid, you're like, this is the greatest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is, like, it's incredible. Um, anyway, at the end, I'm pretty sure that, like, you, uh, you, you kill Ansem... And it turns out that Ansem is like, he was exerting a dark influence over Riku. And Riku's actually like a cool guy, but don't worry, he's still edgy. And then at the end, now here's where I get a little confused. I'm pretty sure at the end, the life stream or the time stream rips apart and Sora and... Riku, sorry, let me rephrase, Sora and Kairi um, are separated on two different strands of Gaia's life stream. And, uh, and I don't know if that means that they previously existed at two different times, but their love traversed the fourth dimension, or if I'm just retconning that in because that's the exact plot of Final Fantasy X. Um, it was just space, not time. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's that's about where I got to. That's a pretty good recap. I played the whole fucking game. I do feel like right now that, that great picture of the dude at the sports game and he's grabbing that girl by the back of the neck and explaining uh, the plot of Kingdom Hearts, you know what I mean? Lance Bass from the boy band NSYNC is in the game. He plays the voice of Sephiroth. Oh, by the way, yeah, Sephiroth is in it. How? Is he like a big bad guy? No, he's an optional boss you can fight at the Coliseum. There are no optional bosses in Kingdom Hearts. 
sword on. There's a call coming in on the gummy ship. That's Britney, bitch. Blue smelter in the can. Never have to do this shit again. There is an absolutely incredible meme in here. And it would be like Dark Souls 1 and it's a picture of Mask of the Father and then Dark Souls 2 and it's a picture of this. What are you going to do? Skull me? Yep. That was a fun room. I'm glad I went in there. Let's just win. This is heavy. Plin, plin, plon. Plin, plin, plin. Plin, plon. I've seen this in Daniel's clip show. Imagine using two swords and thinking that's intimidating. Obviously, if you were actually strong, you wouldn't need one sword, much less two swords. <laughs> I got a chance. I don't got a chance. By the way, I'm not mad at this boss. I like this boss right now. I'm having a good time with this boss. I can't believe people were like... First off, I gotta tell you, this has been the most confusing Dark Souls stream in my life. We fought Blue Smelter, who I thought was a meme that chat made up and didn't exist. And now we're fighting a guy called Fume Knight, that I have to be honest with you, I thought was chat misremembering the name of Smelter Demon. So this is a this is a weird one for me. But I can't believe everyone was telling me Blue Smelter's the problem. Fume Knight's a freaking disaster, dude. But also, like, one of the best fights in the game so far. Blue Smelter was just, you know, the re-smelting. There's another great video in that thread of Michael Jackson uh, throwing shade at people where he's in a car uh, with the window down, like the, the back seat, and uh, the paparazzi is, ha is hounding him. And they're going, Michael! 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 Can you still moonwalk? And he's visibly extremely annoyed. But he gets baited by the question. They go, Michael, can you still moonwalk? And he goes, Obviously, why wouldn't I be able to moonwalk? And then the paparazzi goes, Thank you, Michael, you're the best! You're the best! And then it's... <laughs> it's just a great... Just a great video all around. Can you still beat Dark Souls 2? Look, this guy is hard, okay? Oh, no! Oh, that's where my story ends. Trackmania. I mean, there's like... We've played hours and hours of, of Trackmania recently. You got nothing to worry about there. If anything, we need to get... Dark Souls 2 done as fast as possible before I lose all uh, hope and confidence in it. What's after Dark Souls 2? Probably, realistically, Thursday becoming a variety show for a while. And not doing a Souls game for a while. Get that green back, boys. Anytime you see that, you're happy. That's faster than you'd expect. And look at that. Fume Knight! <laughs> F in chat for Fume Knight, please. He's a nobody. One of the easiest bosses I've ever fought, probably. What are you doing down here? Crown of the Old Iron King. Is that the end of the DLC? You need to go up the elevator and fight a boss as hard as Fume Knight. <laughs> fight me here. And then I'll land on the elevator and live. F. This game seems like a pain. Um, there's elements of pain, I would definitely say. Um, 
Apparently the third DLC is even quote unquote worse. So we'll see. I mean the bosses in this one have been pretty good. There is one absolutely horrible section in it, but the this this DLC I would say has been fine. One cannot reside in the memory for long. I think I don't know that. This is the boss. Easy. Hello. Oh my god, dude. Really? What if you just stopped? What if, what if you just didn't do this? This is the boss run. Good stuff, good stuff, good rolls. Keep it rolling. That's a bad start. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh. Sir Allen. He's got a little bit of a range advantage. Oh! Quick sip, quick sip. He's a dex user. Be careful! This one might take a bit. I, 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 see, I see the messages in chat that say if you beat him without taking damage, you get extra lore. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. I think I'm lower on Dark Souls 2 even than the average Souls player because I actually started with expectations that I would like it a lot this run dude so here's what I'm thinking. Now, we fight him. I hate to despawn him, but I think realistically that's the short term. That's the long term play, I should say. Now this guy, I don't think you have to despawn this guy. It just, like, sucks. <laughs> I just can't imagine why you would why you would make this area. I also I cannot believe that we have been playing Dark Souls 2 for so long, dude. Like why is this game so long? This is the worst. I hate so much about the things you choose to be. How long has it been since you had fun playing this game? I mean, I Fume Night was fun. Who was the boss before Fume Knight? Like, I'm not just being the guy, oh, Blue Smelty. No, he was not that fun. But I'm not being that guy who's like, uh, you know, everything about Dark Souls 2 sucks. Fume Knight was sick before Blue Smelter was Poison Dragon. Oh, son of a bitch. How much do you think playing so many Dark Souls games back to back has affected your enjoyment of 2? Um, it has affected my enjoyment of 2 a lot. Not because I'm burned out on Dark Souls, but because Dark Souls 3 is so much better than Dark Souls 2. That really, like, it compares so unfavorably. I think if you played them years apart, you would be like, you know, hey, it's pretty good. Like, I think if you played 2 after 1, and you used not just Seistus, you'd be like, it's okay. But 3 before 2 is not the right way to do it. Three is better mechanics wise, two is better story wise. I look, I just disagree, but I'm also gonna go a little harder and say, like, I think that's insane. <laughs> I did see somebody that was like, the themes of Dark Souls 2 are themes that resonate with me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Admittedly, I haven't been reading all the item descriptions, but like the only story I know about this game is the Emerald Herald And then also every three hours Aldia shows up and goes like you're looking at my flames, aren't you? You're looking at my flames, aren't you? And I'm like, I'm not looking at your flames, dude And he's like, well, if you look at my flames one day, you may be consumed by them And I'm like, I don't know. Why are you so weird? Here's a question because so many people are like you're wrong if you weren't using fists, you'd love the game if Dark Souls 2 is so great. Why have they never made a Dark Souls 2-2? You know what I mean? Ipso facto, 
Suppose you make a Dark Souls 2 and release it to the free market. It must naturally follow that the number of people that pick it up combined with the, an assessment of the aggregate critical response would indicate the direction that you'd go in the future. And if you agree with this, it follows naturally from that, then... Crack it. Like, if you got big on Twitch in 2013 because you were... You had a YouTube channel already. Good for you. If you got big on Twitch independently in 2020, you're the greatest esports athlete of all time. You're just better. Thank you, thank you. I was the guy with the YouTube channel, yes. Thank you. Just making terrible decisions business-wise to play Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls Randomizer was Pog. Oh, but don't play Randomizer. Four people on Reddit were like, I hope he plays something else. Give those four people the keys to the and the map. They're the driver and the co-driver. All of a sudden, I'm on month 77 of Dark Souls 2. And everybody that requested Dark Souls 2, the same people that are writing essays whenever I criticize the shitty parts of Dark Souls 2, it's self-defeating prophecy. The squeaky wheel got the grease, and then the squeaky wheel is like, I'm greasy. <laughs> Why am I so greasy? I don't want to be greasy anymore. No, not the ankle, dude. Bruh. <laughs> I'm begging you, dude. I'm just begging you. No! We're in there, boys. You hear that, DoorDash? I don't need your goddamn burrito. True strength comes from within. He stalled. He stutter stepped it. Normally, he eats it instantaneously. Anyway, I'm just kind of being a jerk, I suppose. But, dude, imagine how good we'll feel if we beat this boss, dude. And then on Thursday, we can start a brand new DLC. My girlfriend is next to me watching and took one look at this map and said it looks like ass. Your girlfriend has a more astute observation about Dark Souls 2 than literally like 9 out of 10 professional game critics in 2014, myself included. No, I didn't, didn't know he was going to do that, dude. Didn't know he was going to do that. Okay, we can fight this. We can still fight this. It's a little loud. Ooh. Like, I do... Feel like like from a, an audio standpoint, I'm at a disadvantage. Never mind. <laughs> That's the last time. That's the last time you're gonna get me. You know, just just do it. So normally, when we get uh, like our meal. I don't, it's not a meal prep service. You know what I'm talking about. Hello Fresh, Blue Apron, etc., etc. Um, normally, when we get that, we have a very simple division of labor. I was going to say labor, which would have been great if it was a seafood-based dish. But um, things that are non-pasta, I cook. Things that are pasta, Kate cooks. Alas, exactly. She was. Uh, Streaming late yesterday, and all we had left was a pasta dish. So I said, you know, fine. I'll do it myself. And I cooked a, a sausage and pepper linguine. And usually, I'm still working on my pasta game. It turned out insanely good. Kate was like, this is restaurant quality. And for once, she wasn't just lying to make me feel better about how good the cooking tasted. The music, dude. The music is so good. Quick sip. We're in here, dude. We're in here. It's a good fight. Oh, 
Always a little spiced on that one. Keep talking about pasta. We're gonna get there, dude. We're gonna get there. Wait, you are still on this boss. I was in the car for an hour and a half. Were you driving or just like needed to change the scenery? Anyway, like I honestly, if you told me I've been on this boss for 45 minutes, I would agree. If you told me I've been on this boss for two hours, I would believe you as well. Really, like what's happening right now is just, I know this part sucks. Mostly the run up, the fight's kind of fun. But like, once we get it done, it's like doing a, an assignment you don't want to do. If you've already gotten... Maybe you thought the assignment was going to take you four hours. And you're six hours in, and you've still got three hours to go. You'd still rather finish it than take a break. You know what I mean? You'd rather knock it out so it's done than have it hanging over your head. That hurts, though. Artifact had to be one of the biggest misses of the last decade. It's up there. Artifact. Battleborn. Anthem. Dark Souls 2. It's like I'd, I'd want to kill the enemies because it makes the run-up better, but in my heart of hearts, I actually believe I, I'm one away from beating this boss. Quick sips. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. You roll away on that one. Stay on him. Ladies and gentlemen. All you had to do was rattle him. All you had to do was knock him off his mojo. <laughs> Looks like he just ate a Burger King. Can I, can I get the first grade instructions on how to get to Ice Hell? You know what? No, screw that, dude. While we're on a roll here... It's time for Vendrick to eat shit. Do you have the giant souls? I think so, but I also think it's possible I might have munched one. I'm just... I've chosen not to think about that for a while. Because it makes me feel bad. <laughs> Going from Warzone into the bosses of Dark Souls 2 that have been too frustrating to beat in the past is really like... It's like going from being on a roller coaster to doing your taxes. So I appreciate people sticking around. And then lying to me and telling me they're pogged up. <laughs> I refuse to believe From Software didn't make this game just to piss people off. I don't know if I would go that far, although there have been times where I've resorted to that line of reasoning for sure. Um, I mean, this boss fight... It might be the only boss fight in video game history that feels like it would be better as a book than a game. Like, the chosen undead hacked away at the rotted flesh of the once gilded king. Like, that's so much better than just walking around in a circle being like, smack, smack, smack. You know there's some people out there, though, who are like, the Vendrick fight is my favorite fight. It's just so emotional. With the plin, plin, plon. I got four tall cans in the fridge. I'm tempted to just go grab one, drink it all in one go on an empty stomach, and then mainline the shit until my wife gets home. 
It's the saddest night of a of a thirty year old man in in society's history. But it's it's gotta be done, dude. Not so much the tall cam part, but the boss has gotta get destroyed. I will say one time, and the business has gone out of business and been replaced by a much better business. But one time, Kate and I went to like a brew pub to eat, and I ordered like uh, it was like a spicy sausage pizza. And their whole thing was they had like a, one of those 700 degree ovens, right? So the crust gets really nice as wood fire and starts a clay oven or something like that. So it's delicious, right? Uh, or supposed to be. When I was eating it, and I got a decent spice tolerance, but when I was eating it, I was like, this is so spicy as to be nearly inedible. And it's not like, oh, they put on habaneros when I wanted jalapenos. I was like, this is like pepper spray and but i thought maybe it was just me like i waited or i like i just had a bad spice tolerance that day or something but then when we left it was basically like close to closing time the chef was out there or at least somebody involved with the production of the food and he said hey how'd you like your pizza and i went it was good because i'm polite and then he went was it spicy and i went yeah and he kind of just, like, smiled at me. So I, I think that... I think that that dude might have deliberately just fucked with the pizza to be kind of a dick. That's for the pop play. Please turn on one hit kill. What's worse, this or alone? Well, for the boss design, this. For run-up, alone times a thousand. Man, imagine how much worse this fight would be if the camera actually worked the way it does in good video games. You could probably slap on some tank armor. If you can find some tank armor that is a turtle shell, I welcome it. But we are we're locked into Sastuses and turtle shells. I'm just going to start telling people this runs for charity. It was a donation incentive to do a Ninja Turtle run. The incentive was that if I did the run, you would donate to me. Yo, let me out. Just stay in there. You got him. You got him, dude. Just hit that, hit that patella. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, here's my impression of Sean Connery, uh... <laughs> PUNCH THE KNEES FOR GOD'S SAKE! <laughs> I already have the frozen flower. So I think to end today's stream, just direct me to where the ice DLC is, and we can have... Oh my god, you really wanna... I can't fight the dragon, dude. I can't fight that dragon. Shotgun the tall boy and keep this stream alive. It's a legendary stream. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Taurus demon? The sign is being channeled from far away. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't make you fight an invisible boss in the fog. I just don't believe you. I, I don't believe you, dude. With, with the Sastus? Chad, shut up. I gotta hear. Sip up. We're in there, boys. Oh! Okay, okay. But you gotta admit, for a second, when I snapped and hit him in the ankle a couple times, you believed. You believed. <laughs> for games like uh, Isaac and Monster Train, it's... It did sound like mouth. Oh. Tonto. 
You're just as sweet as the first time that we met. Oh no. Well, as soon as you find yourself in this mode in Dark Souls, just give up. It's like, if you're a boss, I'm just mashing. I'll have it. I was just mashing there. I don't hate bosses. I was just told not to fight this boss yet. We get 3D glasses that allow us to look through time and see the boss. How did you hit that? Do you know that they're boys? You know that boys. How did you get at the boys? I'm having heavy deja vu. I'm actually like pissed off that the staircase killed me there. That's horrible. That was right in front of the bonfire. I may just sprint it, to be honest. Go, 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 go. Okay, so far so good. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. I see a problem with this strategy. I see a problem with this strategy. What a great scream. No. No! What's your favorite cursed cat? Do you like no, 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 no? Or do you like the one that's like, I'm Big Billy, I'm the Big Wet Billy, I'm the Billy. You like, which, which one's your favorite of those two? I mean, don't say Dark Souls 2 is making me lose it. I mean, I gotta... Oh, no, dude. It's really like it's three hours like stream of consciousness Because the game's not really meeting me halfway. I got a great joke But you got to give me like at least two minutes to make it work here Scientists even went so far as to 3d print its vocal cords They've managed to make it make one specific sound That's my joke Oh my god. It's my bad when I punched him and it, he turned into air. Hey, 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 I need you to move away from the door, sir! Ladies and gentlemen. That's how you game. Isn't this where we went to fight this boss? It's a, it's a different pair of- Stop it! Why would you make this, like... Daniel, this is the game you defended on Twitter on Tuesday. The DLC is so bad, it's good. That's kind of like where I'm at with the Dark Souls 2 DLC in general right now. I'll admit, I'm, I'm enjoying it almost on the same level that I enjoy like some of the FMV games we've played. Like it's almost as absurd as a randomizer. So in its own strange way, I admire it. So I did, I watched another streamer play uh, Dark Souls. They were playing Dark Souls 3. They were fighting Soul of Cinder. And they had like 14 Estus plus 8. And I was like, is this the way that this game's supposed to be? I always thought like, when people uh, are like, why do you have so few Estus that are so bad? I'm always like, what are you talking about? Maybe I missed like one or two shards. This dude literally, every time he sipped, it like healed him to full. And he could do it uh, almost 20 times per battle. And he still died to Soul of Cinder like 10 times. I was like, what are you doing? What? What? I will parry you. Your ashes will scatter to the earth. 
Why does a waterfall noise play when you, uh... When you kill somebody? That's the sound of me slurping up their souls. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I'm gonna play canasta with your grandma. And then I'll push her down the stairs. And then I'll make the whole universe my slave. Not on my watch. Your ashes will fall to the earth and scatter with the wind. You will be no more. Ha! Someone said there's an invisible ladder next to the door. Oh my god. What were you thinking, dude? The Eye of the Priestess. That's chat waiting for uh, Hollow Knight 100%. Oh no. How oh yes! <laughs> oh you son of a bitch. Alright, you don't seem so scary now. I mean, I, based on physical positioning, I dispute that one, but that's okay. I was also very mad when I watched the streamer play Dark Souls 3 and I saw how fast he could roll and sip. I was jealous. Getting the eye is a huge time loss. Are you telling me that everything we've done on this stream so far just was only to be able to fight this boss? So the statue legitimately blocks one arrow, huh? So do whoever in the in the comments was like, just stand behind a statue when he does that is just a liar. We're gonna get it, dude. We're gonna get it. We need, like... It, this is the first time I've felt like this in Souls in a long time. I really feel... Like we need ADP to do better. Here. Our, our sip is just slightly too slow to keep us in there. I completed this game twice without knowing about ADP. Wow, you must be great. What level were your Sastuses when you did it? Oh, you didn't use the Sastus? You used the weapon that Game FAQs told you to use? Held L1 until the enemy went... <gasps> and then mashed R1 until it died? Incredible. You must be, like, the most elite gamer in gaming history. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, you're moving your neck like that. I don't know how you do... What? You... Am I invisible? I would never have forgiven the game. I would never have forgiven the game if that had hit us after the whiff. Every Sastis fight in this game is uh, like a heavyweight battle that's 20 hours long. A most true king. King, 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 king. It was with his magnificent soul that he built a lay of Lois. Lois, 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 Lois. And contained the spread of spread of chaos. chaos, chaos, spread of chaos. Hey, you missed the spot. <laughs> hey, I'm freezing my nuts off. <laughs> anyway, you wouldn't. What? All right, that was pretty sick. Get, get dusted. Get okay. There's one more down. How many enemies could there possibly be here? There's infinite. Uh, there wouldn't be infinite chat, because then it would use too much memory, and they wouldn't have been able to develop the game in the first place, because there would have been a buffer overflow or a illegal memory address exception. You need more friends. Okay. So if we go, if we go down this way, I've been reading in chat. We can rescue more knights. You gotta assemble team unity. <laughs> they are a pain to get. I had a feeling. Stop it. I don't get it. Uh, like seven punches just got ethered. What's one thing Dark Souls 2 does better than any other Souls game? You know what? That's a good question. I think, I, I think there's an obvious answer that is very easy, and then I think I'll think about something 
that's like that seems more genuine because the easy answer is Majula and uh, apparently PvP yes ice wheels huh <laughs> fleets of ice cars He's about to do a bunch of other bad stuff as well. Power stancing is cool. Majula's very good. Apparently New Game Plus is good too. Alright, fair enough. Please don't be more Sonic the Hedgehogs. It's more Sonics, dude. Yes. Bullseye. Amazing. Great. Nice shot. Bullseye. It's all skill, baby. Hey, you're asking me one thing that Dark Souls 2 does better than any of the other Souls games? What about the frame rate on that guy? Just, just heinous. Hello! 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 You're my friend. Like, don't punch him, right? <laughs> now he'll help you out if you go back. All right. You're not going to try anything, right? Sir? Really? After everything we've been through? That is funny. I just came back. Why the summon? I just found this guy. He emoted at me, so I said, hello, sir, here's an emote for you as well. He's scared. What? <laughs> All right. It's my dude. Piece of garbage. You're a real piece of work, you know that? You're using a lance? Lance main? Maybe he's insanely weak to magic? Amazing. Great throw. Great throw. I would just like to fight one of them at a time. I can't believe this stream's over in 47 minutes. I feel like I just sat down. Truly malevolent design. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get some water. <laughs> So last week, Dan did tell me this is the closest that any Souls content has ever gotten him to quitting the game. And it wasn't even this part. And I understood what was happening. Every day we get one step closer to being done with Dark Souls 2, which is very exciting. Again, it's also, it's the value of, the value of doing this on... Twitch instead of YouTube is like on YouTube this would have been yeeted probably I'm trying to think about when would have been the most opportune time it might have been Smelter Demon admittedly um, but on Twitch you know we can we can keep each other company here yeah, Iron Keep was really the first time I was like, this is actual garbage. Oh! Don't look behind you! It's a knight! We've saved the knight! That's the first knight? Oh my god! Snowball. Where's the snowball? Where's the snowball? It's this snowball, get it! 
We out here, boys! Let me guess, it fills in the gap. I also did that. This happens to everybody. Okay, fair enough. Now, Melting Umbra. Ooh, hello. Uh, Melting Umbra. The combination is still good, I think, but the new patch nerfs it heavily. Because they make it so that um, when you gorge a morsel, it doesn't count as a death anymore. So, it, I don't know, I, I don't know if it triggers harvest for one, but it also doesn't power up spells like um, Fatal Melting that are like deal damage to units equal to the number of units that have died this, this game. Why? Honestly, it was pretty overpowered. This is in a situation where like, you know, imagine hypothetically you had an item in your game uh, where like if you were on the chest, you could keep pressing spacebar, and if you got an error room when you teleported, it would let you just keep playing on the chest and having a lot of fun with no consequences uh, whatsoever. And uh, they removed it for no reason except to take that fun away from you. Like, that to me is a different situation. It's a situation where I would be modestly annoyed. Um, at least uh, this one it seems... Uh, it seems nerfed for good gameplay reasons. Well. At least acknowledge Bone Fist. If it's on the way, I'll get it. If it's not on the way, I probably will not get it. Like, you gotta acknowledge, like... We're kinda just winding down here. Like, we've eaten at this restaurant, the the food, we, we thought it was going to take five minutes for the food to come out, and we'd be out of here within 30 minutes. Instead, it took 40 hours for the food to come, and then the waiter's like, Sir and Madame, we apologize for this level of service. We'd like to offer you a free appetizer that you could redeem right now if you'd like. It's like, sure, free appetizer. Who couldn't go for some mozzarella sticks? But we really just want this evening to be over at this point and go home. One boss. One boss this stream. Release me. I'm so sick of the dang old ice. Who is your favorite boss so far? Pursuer is a good boss. Alone is a good boss. Fume Knight I thought was a good boss. I saw so many people in Dan's mentions that were like, Oh, I love Dark Souls too, but if I ever have to fight Fume Knight again, I'm gonna tear my hair out. And I'm like, Fume Knight's good, dude! What about, uh... The, the Witches of Hemwick, or whatever the hell... You know the one I'm talking about. In the cathedral, you fight at the bottom. It's the Witches of Hemwick boss that's not Witches of Hemwick. You know what I mean? It's one of those bosses that's like three... Yeah, the clergy! That's the, the congregation. Not Deacons of the Deep. You know, you know what I mean. Every boss has a couple... Or every Souls has a couple of them. Prowling Magus and the Congregation. Yeah, or what about Skeleton Lords? Great, great example as well. What about uh, Royal Rat Authority and then the other one? Royal Rat Slightly Less Authority. I think it goes Sekiro, number one. Bloodborne equals Dark Souls 3. Then Dark Souls 1, and then heavy down Dark Souls 2. But maybe, apparently, some of the changes to Dark Souls 2 might make it a little better. We'll see.
That's not in terms of game quality. It's in terms of final boss pageantry. Oh, I see. Oh my god. You're almost done with the DLC minus the area that's built for co-op? Really? I'm going to choose not to believe that because I don't want to get my hopes up for nothing. You're going to attack me when I just respawned at the bonfire? Please, I'm just trying to get my... Uh, I'm just trying to get my screen region set up. Cast away Witch Donna. Wilson! What? No! <laughs> wow, they hit me with the very good after it, too. Why are all the invaders named, like, Rachel and Donna and shit? That's a, that's a really... That's an astute observation. That in, uh... Oh, hello, Apollo. Uh, in, in Dark Souls 2, and actually Dark Souls 1, for that matter, all the, the NPC characters that have cutscenes are like Solaire, Gwyn, Gwyndolin, Guinevere. And then all the people that invade you are like, this is Kirk. Kirk has glass on his armor. Hello? It's another good boy! Sounds like a bit of a nightmare. Let's go, <laughs> the three knights. It's Team Unity. With the long range lance, Apollo, the sniper god. Mouth with the halberd, off on his own, slightly to the left. Daniel, the two-headed battle axe, the nuclear missile, just point him in the right direction and let him cleave. And then, I guess that makes you, me, all right. <laughs> sure. And Dupree. This is still a really cool boss entrance. Where we drop in, boys. We're still okay. This is Gem City. Stop it! Bro, you just needed to... I was mashing the B button. Like the potatoes have been boiling for 29 minutes. Haven't even seen the actual boss yet. Yeah, but like, I mean, I'm not saying this is the truth. But in Dark Souls 2 fashion, seems to be... The mobs that lead to the boss are way harder than the boss. Historically. Like, even though alone was tough, the run to alone was hell. It would be easier to get the last knight. I mean, you say that, but honestly, like, the knights are doing nothing. It is it's really Team Unity, but I'm Apollo. You're absolutely right. I'm soloing, like, eight 20-foot-tall teams. And then the other three guys, one of them's out in the woods. One of them's trying to parkour up onto a rooftop. And the other one is looting, even though he's got both of his loadouts, full ammo, full armor, and $25,000 in his pocket. Get in there, get in there! Okay, now, you know, it's me! Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Oh, my word. The caster would be nice. It's actually the most aggressive boss in Souls history. All right. Where's the fourth knight? Somewhere in this vicinity, perhaps? Kind of just wait. Oh, there he is! He's right there! <laughs> Wake up, dude! Get out of here! There's a chance. <laughs> Don't leave me, dude! Oh! Bonfire? Alright, that's pretty cool. 
Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. I'll never forget it. He's about as hard as alone, huh? <laughs> My man has like three attacks. Don't make me laugh. Yeah, you drop your Iowa's here's. Now comes real hell. Yeah, right? Like this is uh This is Horse Town, right? How long have we been playing this game? One hundred years, maybe? Like, I think this run is taking longer than my first run of Dark Souls 1, like, nine years ago. Oh, I forgot about you. So did the designers, apparently. Light the sconces. All is not lost, Chet. We have flame butterflies. I feel like we should be like two tapping you right now. That's clearly not how it's going though. Oh my god, why are you so strong? Because he's flexible? He's not flexible, he's flexile. Sweetheart. Just hit him! Okay, okay. Is actually harder than the burnt ivory king. God, it sounds like mouth in Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. All right, what is this item? I swear to God, if this is like a jar of Dijon mustard, were it not for the fact that we were at the very end of the game, more or less, I might be inclined to quit forever. Mmm, the Eldritch Jam Jar. Dan and I had to have a conversation about playing with the AI, because he was about to play against the AI uh, in darts. He, he's... His words, by the way, if this kills me, so be it. You get in the coffin, huh? <laughs> oh, look at that. So snug. Oh my god. Such such a beautiful creature. <laughs> we got we got Jonathan. That was so good. I see ya! I see ya! Absolutely incredible. You have to fight tons of these guys. You have to fight three more of them on the run to the boss. Just a nice leisurely jog. Is there a dodge timing that will allow you to actually dodge that? So let's just stand still. Maybe when the snow clears, we'll know where we're going. How's the boss? Be honest, how's the boss? Awful, fun, easy, sucks, bad, not awful, hell, easy, oof, it's two phases, haha, -ha. the worst. Little left of this, maybe? Oh! <laughs> Bro, chill out. Relax. It's, it's as bad as they said. It's as bad as they said it was. This is, and, and I understand Apollo's friction with chat sometimes, like right now. We're getting screwed by four ghost horses that shoot lightning at us and run us down in zero visibility. And people are like, why is his S this bad? It's got very little to do with the quality of our Estus right now. Well, you might say it's got something to do with our ADP. If both our ADP and our Estus were better, we might be in a better position. But it's definitely not just like if you go for, you know, plus four, you're going to be in the clear. Help. No. Oh, you can make it in? 
Just use your ears. Dude, just use your ears! Rebind jump! Bro! Dude, can you imagine? This might not be the one, boys. Can you imagine paying $15 or $25 and this is the level that you get? Oh boy, they finally came out with DLC for my favorite game, Dark Souls 2. Then you, from the second you jump into the coffin, you're like, something's not right. <laughs> Why do you have to go into the coffin every time? Um, Cause they didn't expect that you would have to take more than one attempt to get through this area. So, like, in theory, you could have gotten in the coffin at the top and then slid down to a bonfire, but where's the fun in that? That would... You would miss out on one loading screen every time you died, which would uh, mean that you would learn less lore. Have you ever seen that, um... That video of, like... It, I don't even know which game was originally modded, but, uh... It's, like... The game world is Super Mario 64, but you're fighting Artorius, and you have, like, like the music from Doom is playing, and then you have, like, the, the assault rifle from Halo. <laughs> That's, like, what I need right now. I need, like, an M16 with an underbarrel grenade launcher. I just don't know what to say. Like, I just don't know what... What would possess somebody to make it? That's really where I'm at. Like, like if you believe that there is an interplay between player and designer, you know what I mean? Like, that the designer should design something that's hard but satisfying so the player feels rewarded when they beat it. How, if you believe that in the core of your being, how do you reconcile this existing? It just doesn't compute. You haven't even seen the boss yet. I ain't no boss in Dark Souls scares me. Some of them are hard. Big whoop. Why do you continue to play a game you hate? Because we're so close to being done. You know what it reminds me of is... Uh, I saw the original X-Men movie when it came to VHS. And I went, this is pretty sick. They finally did a good superhero movie. Then I saw X2 when it came to DVD. And I was like, oh shit, this is incredible. And then I saw X3 in theaters. And it was nine hours long and horrible. And I was like, when is this shit going to be over? But I didn't want to leave the theater. Because, because I paid to see it. And because I had seen the earlier two. So I, I was... I was toughing it out for closure's sake. Do I have to fight a 75-year-old shirtless man at the same time? Oh, that was when the visibility was good. Like how it's like extremely loud and then like as soon as it stops, it's just like you snap your fingers. It's just like no wind anymore. I feel like both fighting the horse that was coming. And not fighting the horse is a losing game. How many times until they stop respawning? I mean, I've been told by chat that they uh, do not stop spawning. Even if you kill them eight times, they don't stop respawning. Is this worse than Lost Isolith? This is a hundred times worse than Lost Isolith. Once you know what to do, Lost Isolith is two seconds long. You run, like, up a staircase, you turn right, you turn left, and you just beat Bed of Chaos. This whole DLC is, like, malicious compliance. It's like their boss forced them. They're like, your contract's not done till you finish this DLC. And they're like, fine, I'll finish it. I'll finish the DLC. You'll be sorry. You don't have to ask, is this worse than other thing in Dark Souls? Admittedly, I have only been on it for 
maybe half an hour. This is the worst. Very obvious tells. Look, I've seen your, your comments, okay? It's one of those situations where I just have to say... When people are like, it's not that hard. I'm pretty sure, like, this is the hardest by far. So you can have it your way. It really comes down to which, which side of the pendulum you want to be on. You know, are, is everything in Souls easy? Because the hardest thing in Souls is easy? It's just, it, it's one of those things where I'm like, what you're saying, you think that you're saying this isn't that hard. What you're actually saying to me is, I'm proud that I beat this, notice me. That's, that's the way I interpret that. Instead of like, oh, actually this is easy. When I read a comment like that, what it says is like, please give me some attention because I beat it. Use the summons. Can I get an exclamation point optional in chat? And just pretend that it talks about summons. If I remember, this is a good place to farm upgrade materials. Like, upgrades to your soul, yeah. Like, I think you become a better person by suffering through this area. You become more patient, more able to deal with strife in your life. Is it this bad, even if you don't have the Seistus? No, actually, the Seistus, um, little known fact, is actually compro comprised of two pieces of uh, polarized UV blocking sunglass lenses. If you carry a sword or a Black Knight Great Halberd through this section, um, they, you actually just see perfectly. And the horses are your friend as well. You give them uh, a divine carrot to nibble on, and then they follow you around. And uh, they, they'll just kill the boss for you. And then the boss says, it's okay, you can kill me. I was a bad guy anyway, so you don't even have to feel like weird about it. Please summon. <laughs> Help. Just get... Is that the boss? <laughs> or is that the healing waters of Lake Minnetonka? The latter. I've been told that if I go to where Vendrick was... There is an infinite human effigy. You need his crown from the shine of Amana. This game is legitimately bad, huh? <laughs> Sorry, 36 minutes left. Would you rather play this or Ludo? It's not even close. I would rather be playing Ludo right now. One of these days, we're gonna get there, dude. One of these days. No, I can't even go to the Shrine of Amana because somebody said... I just teleported to the same place. Somebody said the freaking Shrine of Amana. You need to be human to open the door in order to get the crown. The whole reason I wanted to get the infinite humanity is because I don't have any humanity. Sorry, human effigies. Keith Miyazaki put some sauce on it. And now I can't even get a humanity to open the door to get the infinite humanity. I ask you, does this seem like a fair system? Someone who already has enough humanity can get infinite humanity. Somebody with not enough humanity cannot get any humanity. They are bereft of humanity. Does this seem fair to you? I got killed by the old man patting me on the back. Keep killing them so they permanently despawn. So I, if you weren't here for the first two hours of this part in chat, um, apparently they don't despawn until you kill them like a hundred times. Normal enemies, it's like eight, but the horses specifically are not because the designer there's only one act that's just on that run oh my god i i honestly in my heart of hearts i believe the only way 
that you get to content like this is if the designers do not like the players. I know that maybe sounds like entitled gamer rage. But it's... Like, I'm glad we're playing it. Because this is truly staggering. Oop. Quick, 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 I hate you! Just drink real quick. It's hell. It's just, it's just hell. Okay, this is hell, by the way. This is the, the worst part of any Souls game I've ever experienced in my life. I thought everyone was being a baby and exaggerating about how bad it is, but it's truly terrible. What are we doing? What are we doing in here, dude? What is this? I can't believe you won't finish Hollow Knight, but you'll finish this. It's actually just because, at least with this, me and 95% of the community, community are on the same page. So when you make a joke at Dark Souls 2's expense, everybody goes, haha, yeah, it is pretty bad. When you make a joke, even a, like a light-hearted joke that's good-natured at Hollow Knight's expense, the 3,000 nations of the Discord army descend upon you. Is actually hell? Don't worry, the boss is worse. Absolutely not. It's, like, I'm not even slightly perturbed by your sentence, because it's not possible. The odds that... Okay, run to the sun till you hit a boundary, then follow that. Fair enough. The odds that the boss would be worse than the worst thing in Souls history is not... It's so infinitesimal as to... It doesn't even factor in as a possibility, psychologically, for me. I don't believe it. There we go. Oh, you... I'm not giving up. We're hanging on. That's actually just dumb. Like that that is just stupid. I'm I'm genuinely not upset because there's no reason to be mad when something is so obviously idiotic. Like, if it was borderline and I just couldn't beat it, then I would be like, I'm mad at myself because I wish I could do better. But the way that it's set up, I'm like, nope. They just made it unbeatable. It's like if, if, if a level is like walk through lava, and then you start walking through it and you, your skin melts off and you die, you wouldn't be like, oh, I'm mad. You would be like, you know, that's what I expected. Don't fight the horses. Welcome to the stream. Alright, you son of a... Oh, uh, ooh, no! That was... that. We need a sip there, not a gem. Oh my god! They'll stop respawning eventually. Welcome to the show! We've covered this. You're walking into the professor's lecture... 98% of the way in and going, excuse me, professor, did you talk about the deoxyribonucleic acid yet? Yeah, we covered that. We covered that part. What are you doing? What are you doing? I hate you! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hey everybody, welcome. It's the greatest day of the week, Thursday, Dark Souls 2. My favorite part of the week, I get to go to Horse Frick Valley. It's gonna be a good time. I'm very excited. At this point, please just play Dota 2. Absolutely not. Um, my philosophy on Dota 2, and really about Twitch in general, is that your viewers, at every opportunity, try to kill your career. And sometimes you have to be smart enough to say no. Many times people will say something to me that is like, it doesn't matter what you play, we'll watch anything. And I'm like, I see the analytics. <laughs> Why do you think I'm so eager to finish Dark Souls 2, dude? I gotta get this out of here so I got space for like, I don't know, Fall Guys or something like that. I'm almost at Adept 3 in Mahjong. Now, you're gonna say NL, do you keep grinding uh, bronze rooms for easy wins? Yes. Why would I play a game to lose? Oh wait, we're on the Dark Souls 2 DLC. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Why are you so loud? Still on this section? You must be new here. So we, we read, uh, I posted on Twitter, I read a comment. I have no idea how, how true it is. But I've been told if you do not run, if you do not move at all when the storm is going, the horses have a lower chance to spawn and find you. Now most people said it doesn't always work. But it does seem to help, so I'm going to give it a try. Now, will it take a while? Yes. It will take a while. Exactly. What, what do we have to lose? Precisely true. What do we have to lose? We spent two and a half hours here last time. We might as well, like, <laughs> try to take it slow once or twice. three hours here this week. I don't think about stuff like that. I think that's how people get mired in a lifetime of mediocrity. They go, oh, I could learn this skill, but this skill's gonna take a while. Could take me years. I could lose weight, but it's gonna take a while. Could take months. I don't think about the long term of that. Here's what I do, you know? We're taking it one day at a time. We're gonna run as fast as we can, and no matter what, it's gonna be three hours from here eventually. All we get to choose is whether we're three hours from here and we've beaten this boss, or we're three hours from here and we haven't. Everybody hates this. So, you know, the thing is, you can't really be, like, in solidarity by being like, we're gonna find a way to cheat the system. All you can really do is accept that it's gonna suck and make it through it, you know? It's like not being able to eat for like 36 hours before a surgery. You don't try to cheat the system and be like, well, I'm looking at pictures of food. You know, you just suffer and accept that that's how it's going to be. Moreover, am I going to play uh, marbles in between each death? Absolutely not. This is one of those times where it's like, okay, we got a horse. That's all right. We can, we can take out one horse. We have to beat this the longer we the longer we take to beat it the longer we're on dark souls 2 it's actually like analytically it's totally fucking my thursdays to be so stubborn and actually completing this i could amp up the viewer count by like a thousand in two minutes by just doing something else. But I refuse to give people the satisfaction of enabling them to quit things in their own life that they find unpleasant. We're gonna have our perseverance. And we're gonna inspire you, whether you like it or not. It was on May 22nd that the first YouTube video of Dark Souls 2 went up. Oh my god. It's like a quarter of the year, dude. I just don't want to go back to the Shrine of Amanda, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> hey chat, did he pass the horses? Uh, well, I've been live for... 11 minutes. Yep, you just missed it. 
If this is a second mimic, I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. One human effigy. Still good. You gotta make a jump there. That's my bad. I didn't realize that uh, we were standing on uh, a platform next to the Marianas Trench. My mistake. Fine, I'll say it. Who made this? Like, just why? <laughs> what were they thinking? How's a little kid supposed to beat this? Don't even start with me, Dark Souls stands. I, w I would respect Dark Souls 2 stands a lot more if they acknowledged that this area and Horse Frick Valley were objectively bad instead of offering things in their defense constantly. Well, it's meant to be a co-op area. Shrine isn't that bad post-nerf. Stop lying! You can lie to yourself, you can lie to your friends on Reset Era. You can't lie to me. I'm living it right now. They said, it's crazy how when people talk about Dark Souls uh, 2, I always hear that it's either the worst souls or the best souls. Why does it inspire this? And I'm like, I'll tell you why it inspires it. Because it's the worst souls. There's, there's only five games in the franchise, and this, this one is the worst. Stop typing LOL because I've amused you, and st start giving me the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> That's completely my fault. <laughs> don't, know, don't even bother clipping it. Nobody watches the clips, okay? This is a mimic, I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. The king's crown. Now you go back and talk to Vendrick in the dream. Okay. All right. I don't even have a snide comment for that. The ashen mist fades. So do we have to wear it? I would be. I would be completely fine with that. I'm willing to... Uh, I am willing to sacrifice. I even, like, almost today thought about... Does it matter which one we wear? I thought about maybe just for this section using a sword. Can you imagine uh, being such a noob in Dark Souls that you use weapons that don't just go on top of your fists? <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby. I need range. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Where the heck am I going, dude? Is that it? <laughs> that is it. Okay, okay. Why not fight them in the healing pool? Can we just get like a glossary of reasons that you'd, we're doing the things the way we're doing? Why don't you just fight them in the healing pool? Because the game routinely on like a, a tick function checks to see if there's horses around you. And if there's no horses around you, it has a chance to summon a horse or it deliberately summons a horse. If you just exclusively try to kite them into the healing fountain, you just have to walk past the spawn point again, which triggers another spawn. They thought of all the ways you could have fun in this game and patch them out. Your good ideas have no weight in From Software between the years 2012 and 2014. They're not a solutions focused organization, they're a problems focused organization. You know what? I honestly. He hear me out here. I don't think we need to resort to resin and use a, uh, a sword. However, I think we could dip our toes into the resin reservoir 
and use a shield on our right hand to block the almost unblockable antler attack and then punch them to death. That's the only one that really bothers me. Is the the one like the antler attack is nigh impossible to dodge consistently. All right. So we're going to try Look, I I will admit my my resolve is fading slightly. I could re I could resin summon. I would consider it. All I would ask of you is to look away. If this offends you, please just look away. I apologize. Some things have got to be done. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, everybody's like, it's okay, you can just use a sword. Literally everybody that's ever complained about this part of the game has been using a sword. It's not like pulling a sword out is just going to be like, oh, and now we win. You just put the sword in the enemy and they're dead. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, you know? We need, we need to actually find our way through this, this mess somehow. I genuinely think... I don't, I don't think it's high percentage. But I think a shield and strong armor gives us a chance. Is there... I'm trying to think. There, are, There's a ring configuration. By the way, I'm not going to pop off on this, but everybody's like, why not just run? You're slower than the horses. And if you run and just try to get away from them, you have no way to defend yourself when they get to you. Is what it comes down to. So, like, we, we've tried 25 runs where we've just sprinted. It's not like we, this is our, like, we decided, hey, let's do things in the worst way possible. We're, we're trying, you know, it's a no-size-fits-all solution here. We're, we're, we're in the experimentation phase. But we're close. Focus. Focus. I honestly thought that was one of those boss rooms where you like fall into the room. It's gonna take you two more hours. You're like super wrong. It's probably gonna take like like six more hours. What's your current stance on playing Death Stranding? I want to, but realistically, when Dark Souls 2 is over, um, it'll probably take several Thursdays to just play whatever the hell I want, which I have not been able to do for some time. And then, <laughs> before I even consider jumping into another long game as soon as possible. Because, honestly, Dark Souls 2 will change the way that I approach programming in my career from this point onwards in the same way that the witcher did um th this this experience has fundamentally changed me sincerely i know you're probably like don't fight this horse just run i need to be able to see clearly to see where the bridge is you would have been right you would have been correct you would have been correct to just run is it in there is it there it's like, I still don't know where it was, so. Buy life gems? With what souls? Just crunch some. Oh, I guess we'll just crunch some. I guess we'll just crunch some souls. Uh, which one should I crunch first? My fading soul or my soul of a lost undead? Hey, wait a minute. We did just get the soul of the king, to be fair. <laughs> I forgot we got that from a chest. Crunch the giant soul? Don't watch today! Don't call yourself a true fan unless you watched the 45 hours where we crunched all the souls last week. I think what it is, is like, this section is so difficult that when people beat it just by rolling the dice, 
they start to look for superstitions as to why they beat it. They're like, I was wearing my yellow shirt when I did it and it worked. And then they post it and people go pog, pog, pog. And then, no, you're just, you're, you're, you're doing a classic trick of the human brain. You were searching for order in a chaotic universe. Our brain is very good at assembling patterns when there are none. You, you have a phantom superstition. Whoever designed this, though, should be demoted. I say that with malice in my voice. They should not have control of any area design. They might be great at writing or programming or making textures or modeling or, or you know, fake lore. They should not be in charge of, of area design. We're at the bridge! No fall damage, dude! Ah! You can make it down here? Alright. Lud, the king's pet. I did see the second one hanging out up there. I'm choosing not to think about it. What the heck is that? Ah, I forgot about that one. But the needle has been moved. The needle has been moved. Did Mouth stop playing Trackmania? No, I think he's just actually been like pretty uh, under the weather for like maybe the last like four or five days. But I talked to him today. Is he like he's he's okay? He just doesn't feel great. Did you have to do that attack ten times in a row? I'm willing to chalk that one up to just like we got stuck in the grinder. Summon the meat shield. It's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just download a mod that allows me to have a rocket launcher, and when the horses come, I'll just blow them sky freaking high. Get that mod that allows you to have uh, an M16 with an underbarrel white phosphorus grenade eater. If the FBI made you play this, how long until you confessed? It's a trick question. An indeterminate length because I've committed no crimes. Next. Oh, I thought I was like, what's that on my monitor, dude? <laughs> so you have to do this to get to the boss every time? Yes. That's correct. I Don't worry, I see the health bar. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think I have hit, um, I've kind of hit the point where I'm like, this is actually bad. <laughs> I'm at like the, the part from that I think you should leave sketch where they go to the, the horse ranch where the old guy is like, I think I want to go home now. I'm not having any fun. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's that? No! I'm so dumb. I was like, why is he waiting so long to use his, uh... Why is he waiting so long to use his, uh, claw? I think, uh, you know, we're, we're at 350. I think it's Summon City. Hollow Knight comments really broke this man, huh? No, because that's not fair. It was really like Hollow Knight, Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 3 specifically. Um, trying to think, there's a lot. Flint Hook. Sekiro, oh, Sek Evangelion Podcast. There's a lot of them. Honestly, the Subnautica, the community has earned this punishment for sure. But if you feel salty that I just said that, just remember, I'm taking the lashes right here with you. We're all in this together. 
This is like, you know, it's like boot camp. We're, we're getting closer to one another as a result of going through a shared torture. This is, this is spicy, okay? Get ready for this. This will be the true test of how good this setup is. We can actually do it! We can put life gems on our, on our quick bar while we run. Because of the, the aggro being drawn. That's nuts. I went away for a bit, he's still here, huh? Oh, hey, Johnny. I haven't seen you since you were uh, 10 years old. You're still in school, huh? Uh, yeah, Uncle John. I'm becoming a doctor. Oh, why do you, you... What, you couldn't finish school faster? Sometimes doing worthwhile things takes some time, okay? It's not like beating your meat. Sometimes you gotta invest some time to do something that's worth doing. By the way, speaking of beating your meat, have you guys heard of Bidoof's Law? I only found out about it today, but I've independently referenced it many times on stream without knowing about it. Bidoof's Law is when you see a bad take for somebody on social media, uh, and then you examine their profile and realize that they're hopelessly addicted to jerking off to hentai. Which I think I pronounced wrong, but that's part of the bit. The number of times somebody tweets some garbage and then I click on their shit and it's like blah blah blah, the Democrats are trying to get us killed. And then number two is like, I drew a cartoon lady with big titties bending over. Ah, la 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 la. It's literally like 95%. There is like a 95% coincidence rate. Not Mathis, no. <laughs> he saves that for the private discord. Who are they retweeting it for, though? I mean, we, do we have to go down this road? Yes, we do. I've decreed it to be the case. I have the exact same question. I don't know. You know how, like, when your cat, when it takes a dump in the litter box, it goes insane for, like, ten minutes and just runs around, meows, and, like, scratches the walls? I think that's what it's like when you retweet Hente. I think it's, it's your cat going insane. But instead, you're sending the signal, not that I pooped, but that I jerked off. You're going like, hey, everybody, I jerked it to this. This is certifiable, jerk-offable material. Hey, guys, I jerked it. Dude, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to be making progress here. I give us like a 95% chance of killing boss. So, I'm not mad. I'm having a great time. He animation canceled into an attack. See ya. <laughs> hey, where's my where's my summons, dude? Can you imagine that this was what it was always like before we summoned? Those were the days, dude. It's all right. Five Estus. It's a race. It's a race. Uh, I want to- I want to recount on that one! I cannot wait for this shit to be over. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. If I wanted to get a sword... What were the steps I would need to do to get a sword? Like, for most of this game, the Saste stuff has been just kind of like funny friction. <laughs> this is not the optimal weapon. Why doesn't he just use a big hammer? <laughs> now, this is like actually just shitty. This is just not. Like, the only energy. Like, I'm doing the heavy lifting for the game here. I'm not afraid to say it. Maybe we'll take the, the summons in with us. <laughs> it wouldn't even be that bad. Like, I know we've been down this road a hundred times. But, like, if they just put a bonfire next to the fog wall. Like, if they made you go through this once, and then when you made it to the end, there was a bonfire. That would be fine. Making you run through the blizzard swamp for four minutes every time you die is just... It's just me. Yeah, the, the stream isn't about fun or entertainment or pog anymore. The stream is about sending a message. Wow. 
she's a double fist build too, yo. Let's go. Oh no. Solidarity. This is still just an absolute mess. <laughs> Would you rather do this boss or Seath and Priscilla? I mean, to be honest with you, this is the first time legitimately I think I feel like saying Seath and Priscilla is not insane. But even like this boss, I don't think is that bad. It's pretty bad. The Seath and Priscilla is just a complete cluster. But the run up. The run up changes everything. Yeah, we spent six hours in Glaucoma Simulator. Just free me. Allow me to make some progress. I look, I'm borderline a stone. But even I have my limits. I mean, it, it's gonna win. And it's gonna feel hollow. And I'm completely okay with that, because at least I'll feel something. <laughs> Hoggers, who cares? <laughs> If that doesn't just sum it up, like... Af after all that, they tried to break my weapon on the final boss. Get out of here. We're free. The DLC is done. I was... Whether you give me I was here or resin, I do not care. A man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> oh. Of course, just more very sensible Dark Souls 2 mechanics. If your weapon breaks, you don't have to take it to a blacksmith. You just have to sit down in front of the fire for a second, and uh, uh, the healing flames of the first flame will uh, re-smelt the metal for you. It didn't break, it was only at risk. Yeah, it's like how your if your car doesn't break, but your check engine light turns on. If you just park it in your garage overnight, it'll fix. A very bold decision on my part to stack up all of the worst bosses in a row. All right, can I get you to just do that again? This is the fight? Yes, that's correct. You are not missing anything. This is the fight. Very commonly, people will think they're missing something. It is not the case. We did not. But oh my god, dude. I just. In my head, I'm just picturing, like. What it's gonna be like when I beat the final boss. I don't even think, like, I'm gonna pop off at all. I think I'm just gonna sit in silence for, like. Maybe, like, at least 30 full seconds. And just be like. Thank god. It would have been better if we spent three months playing Dota, quite frankly. Stay between his toes. If that works, I mean... I don't mind. <laughs> if that's... If you stay between his back toes... You might be okay. Like, I don't even want to talk about Dark Souls 2 anymore. I've already said my piece. I just, every time I have an answer, it just leaves me with more questions. It's like I get it at this point. Exactly. It's like watching a long movie. And you're like, what the hell? Why did Michael Bay make a Transformers movie that's three hours long? I've been over it since 45 minutes in. I saw Optimus Prime turn into a truck. Now just like end the film. Dude, this music is so comical. <laughs> when compared with how we're taking this fight. By the end of Dark Souls 3, I liked Dark Souls 3 more than I liked it when I started. I thought the DLC capped it super nicely. But as I played through Dark Souls 3, I liked the end of it a lot more than I liked the start. Whereas in this, the longer this goes on, the more I'm like, I don't even remember the last time I liked. <laughs> more than, like, a boss fight. Like, I, okay. I like uh, Fume Knight. And I like, uh, 
serve forever alone. But that was, I don't know, 10 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> You're simply the best! Thank you and thank you for the raid. Now we are ending the stream in, in mere moments. Because this is one of the worst video games I've ever played. Well, I'm upset is a better way to describe it. But hey, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, I'm not like other girls. I wear a green hood. Yeah, whatever. All right. Cool. Yeah, sure. See ya. Is it? Oh, I feel so nice to be fighting a real boss. I'm just crunching Doritos. Mid fight. All right. All right. But tomorrow, I mean, next Thursday, you guys are toast. Hey everybody, I am full of pog fuel. I'm ready to finish what we started in Dark Souls 2. What you got? What you got? You almost tried. Whoa! Lucky us. Still lucky us. What the heck? The gold pine resin. Who are these enemies anyway? Fake lore? Yeah, this is like the fakest lore, though. To give you like two nameless enemies as your final boss preamble. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, I punched you. I showed you my punch. Please respond. There you go. There's one in the books. This is Nishandra. She's, uh,. The, the Emerald Herald. She is not related to Nito. Their character designs are very different. What's this? What's this? Is this the final boss? What's this? What's this? Is this comic lost? What's this? What do Okay, see, it looks like Jack Skellington from, you know, from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, see you never, dummy. Is this New Game Plus? I thought you started playing in March. Oof. This is how you know you screwed up the level design of an area. Even the AI can't make it through. Did I not? Does it, has anyone been here for long enough um, to remember seven months ago when I was here? Because I thought we fell down the wrong hole and spoke to a man here. But I might be mistaken. I remember it was like, you know, somewhere over here you drop, and then you don't drop off that side, you drop off this side. And then you come back this way, and you fall off this way, and you go through this door. Hello? That's scary. You've already dropped too far? Fine, I'll do it. Who made this? Are we cool? We appear <laughs> highly uncool. I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba dang. Da ba dee da ba dang. Da ba dee. What a what a year for music, dude. So now do I do I go back there or do I go to the dark the door clerker's entrance? You need to beat all three Abysses of Darkness. You gotta do some dumb shit. That's incredible. Who made this? How's a little kid supposed to beat this? What happens if you run out of effigies? Uh, you can uh, go F yourself. One last... Oh! Just for that, you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with The Undertaker tonight. Whoa, no! Anyway. That's what we're supposed to do, right? <laughs> turtle, Turtle, I need your help. You gotta meet me halfway on this one. Oh my god. Who made this? Every boss attempt, you've got to go through all of these portals. 
You must be joking. I, I, I think that you're not because of the fact that I have just seen more than one person say it. But I still, like, don't believe it. You just gotta go through one. Alright, that's still, like, pretty dumb and bad. But it could be worse, I suppose. I think at this point, it's very clear that the people who worked on this game had, like, an unbelievable hard-on for hellish boss runs. Are you the... are you the mist? See ya! Look. Wait, do, does that count? Does that still count as having lit the bonfire? Nope. It's just one of those things where, like, I know we're going at it a little hard. But, like, like on the last one, there was a big hole you had to jump in. On this one, they put a big hole right next to the bonfire. And then when you jump in it, they're like, gotcha. <laughs> Why would you think you just jump in the hole? Why would you think you jump in the hole? Oh, because I jumped in the hole on the last one? You fool! You absolute... You imbecile! Are you stupid? Just because we established a pattern of doing things? You, you thought you could do it again? Wrong! Wrong! Stealth attack, dude! Can you imagine? Just mind your own business. This guy comes up, just starts beating the shit out of you. There you go. It is misty. It is misty. I love how they... Like, again, it's very minor. But, like, the hole just ends and then you fall into... Pure N64 debug darkness. <laughs> They're just like, ah, you know. You get the idea, it's a tunnel. You just imagine the rest. Nine. Say the line, Bart. Who made this? Now we're going into the mist. Just in case. What? Tyrael? Uh, that's Nishandra's move. Stop copying. First off, I hate to say it, it's very crass. But with his arms crossed, does it not just look like Dark Lurker has an absolute, absolutely humongous rack? Just like a, an unbelievable ample bosom? <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I feel like I'm playing a visual novel on Steam right now. The frick is that, dude? Yeah, you hate to see it. Sorry I slagged your six-year-old Dark Souls 2 series. Sorry I didn't read the message to which you're referring to. I guess we both have something to apologize about. I gotta say, though, this boss seems okay. It's still fine. This boss is not so bad. The run back is annoying, sure. I mean, the run back to this is not even close to the run back to, uh... To the, the horses, so... I mean, like, I'll say it. There's some bosses in Dark Souls 2 that are totally fine. Dark Lurker seems okay so far. Fume Knight, when I hear people, and I've seen it on, like, the Souls subreddit, because whenever I get pissed at this game, I Google, like, you know, Dark Souls 2, worst boss, and then I just, like, read Schadenfreude. But there, there are people out there that are like, I hate Fume Knight. Man, he's so annoying. What a crap boss. And I'm like, if you hate Fume Knight, you actually just, like, should not play any of this game. I, I would probably say, and admittedly, we've been playing this damn game for so long, I don't remember yeah. 
almost any of the bosses I've fought prior to at least starting the DLC. But I think Fume Knight is probably my favorite boss in the game. Run up to Smelter sucked, but I actually think Smelter's like okay. Again, it's one of those things where like if you put Smelter Demon into another Dark Souls, wouldn't be that good, obviously. But I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like, I'll pog up for, for Red Smelter a little bit. I can't unsee Dark Lurker's huge milkers. It is like, I wish I hadn't thought of it either. Completely my own fault yet again. As long as we're only in the range of one attack at- Oh, that's terrible. Ah! Laser fire? I think we can punish fire pretty easily. Excuse me? Excuse me? Is that Poggy? Is that Poggy? I saw victory achieved, so it must be Poggy. I don't think it counted. I mean, that's pretty dumb. Uh, it's just like genuinely stupid. Why did you stand there when it said victory achieved? I do love though, like, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, first off, it sucks. But secondarily, I'm like, it owns. Because of the fact that as a result of that, we get more ammo in our coffers against Dark Souls 2. So for all the people who are like, yeah, but you're using a Sastus. Yeah? What about now? How do, how do you explain? Well, okay, that one was BS, but the rest of them are invalidated because you're using a Sastus. I do need to explain, though. Because I was, I was complaining about durability in Dark Souls 2. And then people had a little, they got their feathers rankled. Um, because of uh, the fact that it works the same way in Dark Souls 3. And here's the way I think about it. If I was at, like, my favorite restaurant, and there was, like, a hair in my food, I would be like, ah, shit happens. But if I was at, like, an awful restaurant with awful service, and then, um, the food took an hour to come out, and they didn't bring me what I ordered, they didn't bring me my drink, uh, and then it, it sucked, and then there was a hair in my food, I would be like, man, this place sucks. There's pubes in my salad. Yeah, and also, a very tall man with no hair looked at me. In a racist way. Oh crap. <laughs> no! Pop boss souls and buy big life gems. Welcome to your first Dark Souls 2 stream. We do have one boss soul in our um, in our inventory. All of the other boss souls have been popped long ago in the land of Yor before you were here. 13 days before Luna is born, do I think I'll be able to make enough Spelunky 2 content? I mean, maybe yes, maybe no, but either way, you know, the baby is uh, a little more important. A little more important. Spelunky 2 could be a big game for my career, but some things have got to be sacrificed. So if you could just hold it in for another couple of days, that would really help me out. I wonder if they'll release the Isaac DLC, like, the day after, too. I would really believe that the entire... Uh, like, dev cycle is exclusively built to troll me if that happens. It's been ready for months! We just waited until your wife went into labor as a joke. Sorry fans, take up all your complaints with our complaints department, points to trash can. Now that's the best dodge in history! Give me another. Dare I say... We actually should have greeted there. Oh my god, no. No! No, I don't- I don't believe you! I just, like... Come on! The boss is dead! It's not greed! <laughs> yeah. 
I killed the boss. <laughs> this is this is true hell. Mmm, my favorite Souls game. The pageantry of the boss fights. The way Dark Lurker can kill you after he's already dead multiple times. I'm definitely not just saying that Dark Souls 2 is the best Souls game because it creates an argument and that's the acerbic environment in which I thrive. It's, it's because of its merit. It's not because of its critical response. It's, it's on merit. It's not just because I want to seem special for liking something that everybody else dislikes. But, 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 but my age bomber guy. Like, now I get it when people say that Dark Souls 2 is the best Souls game. It's because they're big fans of things that suck. That's just rude. Won't somebody think of the game's feelings? The ones and zeros are sad. You don't want to make Dark Lurker sad, do you? I got Panzerball because of you. It's free! No! <laughs> Me giving the effigies just to fight the boss is like you guys spending your channel points on messages. Just to not have me read them. I understand now. I knew it was coming too. I knew it was coming. I got a little greedy at the end. I'm still just like in denial. Um, that this game is this bad. Anytime you look at my face and you're like... What is he thinking? He must be tilted. I'm not really tilted. I'm more just like stunned that... Like, it came out and people were like, it's not that good. And then, like, they made it worse. I mean, I still think the boss is good. The fact that when it, you know, I killed it and then it did an AoE when it died and killed me. That was, like, a little salt-inducing. And then, like, um... When I went ha-ha-ha and then I went back and I beat it again and I still got killed after uh, I had killed it. I went, eh, I think this is pretty shitty, actually. But I, I recognize that I'm I'm kind of gleeful in my derision of this game because of the fact that just just saying the three words it was shitty can inspire like a dozen people to write an essay about it in response. And I, I have to recognize that the heavy is the head that wears the crown. I don't want to ruin several people's productivity tonight. I mean I've had a lot worse experiences playing games than Dark Souls 2. I have put in like 40 hours into this game. And it hasn't been miserable. There's just been like, I'm over it and it's just like, Ah, nevertheless, here's another thing. Bully is, is substantially worse than this. This is a much worse experience right now than even like when I was getting burned out on Subnautica. You're doing fire again. She body blocked me! She body blocked me! They hit me with two things at the same time! How are you still fighting the same boss? Boy, oh boy, are you gonna love this vibe. Okay, 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 okay. I thought it was dark energy. I was like, what is, what is that? Hey, asshole. You really gave me uh, an emote called Climax. Well, oh, nice drip. Texture quality is so good, dude. <laughs> we watch this, skip it. I, I dare not. I am enjoying not putting inputs into the game for a bit. Wow, you were like dead ass, just terrible. I'll race you. I'll race you. <laughs> oh, look out. They definitely brought back the Plin Plin plot. Can I get close to you? Okay, that's not how I kill you. <laughs> Don't tell me to punch the fireballs back at him. This is really it, huh? Like, I'm like, I might even take a little longer than I thought I would. Just because it's kind of like, 
take him forever? He's throwing punches like me in my dreams. Now he's more on fire. I'm just waiting for like a half of the arena to disappear. Oh, not like this. <laughs> for once, you know, I'm not messing around with this game anymore. Get those out of here. I agree with you. Put fire resist armor. If you think after all we've been through, on the final boss fight, I'm going to take off my turtle shell to beat this piece of garbage, you have lost the last part of your mind that existed. The turtle shell stays on during sex. <laughs> have you decided which ending you're going to pick yet? Uh, whatever ending I pick, I'm going to mash the A button as fast as possible and put this game in the trash can. Do they give Steam refunds after 40 hours of commercial use? Would I give Dark Souls 2 a positive or a negative review? It's a really tough question. It depends on the context of your review. Compared to other games, I think it's good. I think it's fun. I think it's worth playing. But if you're like a Souls fan who's like, oh, I heard this, it, the second one is not so good. Should I play it? I would be like... I would, I would say no, quite frankly. Like, I'm pretty sure this game is like season eight of The Office. Who do, who do you recommend it for? Fans of The Office? Aren't they just gonna feel even more annoyed? Non-fans? Why would you watch this over, you know, the earlier seasons? Doesn't make any sense. Like, dude, you are the scholar of the first sin, and this is what it got you. You can teleport and you can put your your arms in the ground. You know in like the old Iron King's uh, lair, there is a boss made of fire. And he can even like walk around and everything. And then this is like what you've brought to me today. I award you no points. May God have mercy on your soul. Everyone here is dumber for having listened to your tirade. All I'm going to say is that every game has to have a final boss, just like every year of school ends in some kind of graduation, right? This is like... Like, what, what can you do? This is like graduating from fifth grade. And they're like, ooh, are you excited you graduated from fifth grade? You're like, not really. It's just what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we're free. Oh, I'm letting the neurotransmitters wash over my entire cerebral cortex every single like area of my brain was like a fully engorged water balloon just going later dummy Well, I gotta watch the fake lore about this one, because I'll be honest, I have no fucking idea what happened at all. You wake up on a beach, and you go, what? Ten frames a second, and then some old ladies make fun of you and emasculate you. Then you punch a bunch of giants in the kneecap until they die. I, I honestly remember nothing. I remember nothing. I just wanted to be done. <laughs> like what? I'm trying to think what happened. I remember fighting the guy who was made of bodies. So, like, the gist of the story of Dark Souls is that the Emerald Herald is actually a projection of Nishandra, and Nishandra was spawned from a fragment of the original Dark Soul, and her job is to guide you to um, her lair where, well, you gather the souls of the kings or whatever, and then she will kill you and then take that and use it to usher in a new air of darkness or something? Is that something along these lines? I think we, we hit more than 50% on that, right? Something along those lines? 
I do think it's kind of cool that, like, they... Like, Dark Souls 1 is a solitary journey through uh, misery. And in Dark Souls 2, they give you a friend. And then at the end of the game, they're like, just kidding, she's the boss. But then in... Uh, in Scholar, they go, just kidding, she's not the final boss anymore. Now the final boss is some nerd who lives under the ground. She's not Nishandra? What are you talking about she's not Nishandra? Harold has nothing to do with Nishandra? Yo, that would be sick, though. The Emerald Harold is a wyvern. What? She's your friend at the end? She warns you about Nishandra? I like my story better, honestly. I like the idea that she was she was stringing you along the whole time to bring a dark fate to fruition instead of just like, nah, she's actually your best buds. Do you kind of feel bad shit talking this game for like three months and then the names of the hundreds of people who, you know, dedicated months of their lives to working on it scroll by. Kind of makes me feel like a piece of shit for sure. But, you know. I said what I said. <laughs> I mean, people work on all sorts of stuff that I think is bad. Plenty of good jobs at the Uncrustables factory. That doesn't mean that the sandwiches are delicious. And to be honest... You know, if you were the enemy animator, it's not your fault. You're just, you were just following orders. You know, if you were the concept artist, I got nothing but love. If you led the CG team, or were a real-time artist, or a cinematic director, I got nothing against you, alright? Now, producer, that's where I, and designer, that's where I think, I hope you got broad shoulders, because I got a heavy load for you. Does this look like a man who has a problem with the maximum size of his load? I can't believe that was... That was not only in this game. That was at Drangleic Castle. Which is like 60% of the way through the game. It was an eon ago when I was still posting a TikTok a day. Who the heck is Griant? Royal Sorcerer Navlon, Laddersmith Gilligan, and Pitchy Gren. Who is Care Hillian of the Fold? I had Grave Warden Agdane? Who are you? Alright, Luca Teal and Gavlan. The Rat King! Who makes all the rules? Stephen Pacey! <laughs> Supervisor Hidetaka Miyazaki Asterisk was on vacation for 95% of the game's production. Asterisk thought that Dark Souls was going to be the final Souls game and then resented having to come back to work on the series in the future after people finally uh, got wise to the fact that it was fun. Oh, you have been waiting a long time for this. How dare you trick me into fulfilling the path of the darkness? You sure you want to know? Beg for mercy. Beg for mercy. Fine. Have it your way. I don't like how the NPCs come and they're just like... That's not Dark Souls. Fight back! Oh no! 